Hey guys, if you followed me at all on the build of the saloon, uh, you may have noticed there's some changes and I haven't done an update in a while. I did a little bit of decorating up there, a little patriotic red, white, and blue stuff. But I've also finished up some things in here. I finally got the ceiling done in it and that was mostly out of necessity because the birds tended to like to get up there and try to nest in there. I still got some trim work to do and stuff. And one of the things I said in the video was that I didn't have any electricity out here. But if you'll notice right over here, there's a light and there's an outlet. Let me show you what I did on that. Okay, so I have had a need for power out here. And I got a little cable over here to a little solar panel right there. Now this is only a five watt panel, which means it doesn't have a charge controller on it and doesn't need it because it's not gonna overcharge the battery. But you see barely right there, there's a shadow from, you know, the sun is the, sh the saloon itself is blocking the sunlight to the panel there. And then inside this box here, which looks like a box of Winchester ammo, it's not. It doesn't even have a back on it. Okay, behind the Winchester box of ammo, there's a battery box there. And there's a Stanley 1000 watt power inverter mounted to the wall. And I actually have it run through the wall. And just on the other side of that is where that outlet is. Now, what I've had to do here take the cover off of here is I've got my battery in there it's a deep cycle marine battery and I've right now I've got the little uh, alligator clamps on there are for the solar panel and then the bigger ones go to the inverter so I'm gonna make a few changes to this thing I've got a switch that I'm gonna mount on there and then I've got another uh, solar panel a bigger one a 50 watt panel that I'm gonna mount on there with a built-in charge controller the little panel there and the charger and or the little panel that I've got mounted over there or sitting on the ground. I move it around from time to time when it, whenever the sunlight gets to a spot where the cord will reach. I'll do that. So then I got to hook up the charge controller or the power inverter. And I have my one little light right there that I sometimes clamp up here on top of the, um, the door there just so I get a little more light over here at the bar because with the sunlight shining in like it does, Sometimes it kind of blows out the image a little bit. It gets hard to see. You can see everything's bright out there. I'm in the shadows right here. So that light helps out a little bit. But I've got a couple more lights I'm going to mount in here. I'm going to put up in this corner up here. And I'm going to put one up here there, an LED light. And then it'll shine more light over here on the bar area where I'm doing the filming. So that it looks a little bit better. I try to give you guys the best image I can when I'm doing my filming. Sometimes it doesn't always work out like that, but I'm attempting to get it right. Okay, you can see here now I've got my, it's dark inside here and it's really bright outside there. So things are kind of washed out. The color's not all that great. Not that it really matters. I mean, the idea is to get the uh, my thoughts on a particular firearm, but I like for it to look the best it can. Now, one of the other things about the saloon here is I built it intending on it to be my studio and my shooting range for pistol stuff and some rifle stuff, depending on what it is. But um, I've got much bigger plans ahead in the future. Now, the saloon I'll probably use for maybe a year, maybe two years at the most. And then there's going to be a really big change because the saloon will probably be going away with any luck. Um, I've got a lot of work to do and I work a full-time job, so it's a little difficult to get all this stuff done in a timely manner, but, um, I'm going to give it my best shot and in the future, hopefully things will be, uh, much more detailed in-depth gun review stuff, not just taking a gun out and shooting and stuff, but I want to do some restorations. I want to do some repairs. I want to show you how I do the repairs. I want to show you how bluing is done. I'm going to show you a lot of things, but it's going to be a little bit farther down the road, so I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and stick with me. Um, right now, we're going to go ahead and do the upgrade to the solar on here. Even though I, I've had the little solar setup that I've got right now for about two years almost now, and it has served me well. It does what it's supposed to do, but with just that one little light that I've got in here, it's really not enough. And I, like I said, I, I'm going to upgrade the lights a little bit. I'm going to upgrade the solar a little bit, and then when I do the other project, um, it's going to be a much more, a much better, bigger uh, solar system that I'm going to be putting on there. Plus, it's going to, um, it's going to be a whole different ballgame. All right, it's a little dark in here. That's why the video looks the way it does. If I had really good lighting in here, it'd be a lot better. So I did pick up a couple extra lights that I'm going to put in here. And these are a 
they're an LED outdoor floodlight and they're capable of a bunch of different colors so I can adjust that a little bit but they're um, they're actually pretty bright I plugged one in in the house to give it a try and see how it did and they like I said they really are pretty bright I've got two of these and I'm gonna put them up in the corners up there so that I can hopefully get a uh, good lighting in here and even lighting and consistent lighting because sometimes when the the clouds are moving and stuff it uh, changes the um, the lighting in here a little bit it'll get brighter and dimmer and sometimes you can see that in video sometimes you can't but these are these are the lights they are a 40 watt i think they're equivalent to um i don't remember what they're equivalent to but they're really really bright i can tell you that so they've got a bracket on there and i'm going to mount that bracket up on the ceiling so i can adjust them whatever way i want and they do come with a little remote control that allows you to change the color of the lights turn them off and on and everything so I'll be doing that along with the solar upgrade out here because these are gonna draw a little more power than my one single little reflector light I've got in here. But hopefully it'll make everything a lot nicer. All right, I'd get my fake box of Winchester, my cases of Winchester ammo here out of the way. This is just a cover for that. Okay, and down here with the thousands of dead ladybugs, I've got my inverter mounted on the wall here. This plug goes to the one outlet that's inside there. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I'm not trying to pass any electrical codes here. This is a very small temporary solar panel here. This is the cables from the solar panel. I've got it sitting in the sun right now, so I'll have it charging everything up. And I've got two sets of alligator clips on here, and I'm gonna eliminate those with somewhere over here I've got this switch now I'm gonna have to move this up a little bit put this switch there and it's a big knife switch that's allowed me to that will allow me to switch my power because I can't run the solar panel and the inverter at the same time so one way will be power from the panel to the battery to keep it charged the other way will be from the battery to the um, inverter so I can use the power automatically disconnects one and connects the other one Okay, got my battery set back over here. I've got my uh, inverter wired into my switch there. Now I gotta pull two wires out of here and connect to my positive and negative terminals on the battery there. And I'm a little short on wire, I guess, maybe, yeah. So I did pick up some eight gauge wire, which is what was on the uh, Stanley power inverter. So I could only get black. So I'm just gonna wire it from here to there, but I gotta, loop it around so that I can get my cover back on there. The wires are gonna go up underneath these parts right here. So I don't wanna go straight to it, so I'll give it a little bit of access. Now this is a vented box here. I can get air underneath there and out of the top there. So any hydrogen that's produced from the charging will be able to get dissipated there. So I've got to get my switch wired up on here and then I've got to get my leads for my solar panel underneath there, run out here to the pole that I'm going to put up behind me. Now, unfortunately, all I got is black wire. It doesn't matter. Electricity doesn't know if it's black or red. So this one is going to be my positive lead. And the terminals on this switch are marked with an A and an N. I'm going to keep all the N's for neutral or my negative side. And the A, uh, amperage, who knows? It doesn't matter. As long as, they're, as long as I keep the polarities the same, everything will be fine. Okay, so now I've got my switch hooked up. I've got my battery hooked up to my um, switch and then my switch to my inverter. I pulled it over this way, push that down. That's going to allow me to go ahead and power up my inverter. And it does power up. Go ahead and shut that off. And then when I take it off of there, nothing's connected. It will kick on for just a second. There's a little, that was it, there's a little power left in it. Now I'm going to hook up my solar panel to this side over here, run my wire down out into my panel so that when I want to charge it, all I got to do, I'm done using this. I can go ahead and flip this over there and leave it like that for till next weekend or next video or whatever. And it is a beautiful sunny day out today, so it's a good day to uh, figure out where I'm going to set my solar panel, which I've already done that. So I'm going to get to dig in the hole and uh, get the post in the ground.
Now this was an Amazon purchase. I will have the link in the description. Um, this is a 50 watt panel. Now it has its own built-in uh, charge controller in it. So 50 watts will overcharge the battery. That's why you have to have a uh, charge controller for it because you don't want to overcharge the battery. It's just as bad as discharging it too much and you don't want to do that either. But like I said, the reason I got this one, there are other ones out there. There's bigger ones, there's cheaper ones, there's all kind of stuff. But this one came with this bracket that mounts it to a pole. And that pole I just stuck in the ground is an old uh, floor jack for uh, houses. It goes like under your basement, you know, to hold up a sagging beam or something. But um, this is it. This is the Sun Power BC50 WPM with built-in charge controller. So it's a battery charger. It's not not meant to run a whole building I guess but it will keep the battery charged and the battery charge is what you're gonna pull all your power off for in here now this would be great for just any shed any garden shed or anything you got where it's a little too far to run a wire and I had thought about running electricity out here one time but the distance from my house to out here would require a really really big cable because of the amount of line loss or voltage drop I would get over that distance and I'd still only be able to run one outlet. Um, I think I priced the wire at about almost a thousand dollars and I thought there's no way that's crazy. So a hundred bucks for a battery, uh, probably a hundred bucks for the charge or the uh, inverter and that little $50 um, five watt solar panel I had on there was plenty for the last almost two years. I haven't had any problems with it. It keeps the battery maintained so that they don't uh, destroy the battery because just letting it sit will destroy them too. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get this thing all mounted up on that pole out there and then we're going to get the wire run to the uh, switch that I mounted for the battery and the inverter um, switch and then uh, we'll go from there. And one of the reasons I'm mounting this thing so low is that when it snows, I can come out here and easily reach it to clean it off. I thought about putting it up on top of the saloon, but, you know, bird droppings on there and stuff would be hard to clean off, and snow would be hard to clean off. So down here, I can just wipe it off and then go about my business. Okay, there you can see the little blinking green light on the uh, MPPT charge controller, so you know it is working. Okay, here's the moment of truth. We'll see if anything pops and fizzes and all that good stuff. It is all hooked up, and let's go for it. Nothing to see, but it should be feeding juice to the battery there. The light is steady green now. When it's flashing green, that means uh, the sunlight is effective, but it's not doing anything. When it's on steady green there, it is, um, it's the battery is fully charged. I've got my little battery indicator on here, and it's showing that it's 100% charged. It's got a little button on it there. I can click it, and it's showing 13.8 volts. Mm, should be a little higher than that. I thought it should be 14.1. But the charger, uh, the solar panel is in the on position right now. Um, that little light on the back of the panel will let you know if it's uh, reverse polarity because it'll be uh, steady red or flashing red. I can't remember. But now all I got to do when I want to switch this over instead of taking the cover off and swatching my, swapping my alligator clamps from one to the other from the solar panel to that, all I got to do is flip this switch here. I can leave the cover on it. I may go ahead and cut a little hole in that... Um, in that battery cover just to mount that little this little piece right here and and it's just a good indicator without having to turn on the um the actual inverter to see the status of the battery okay i got my little uh, battery monitor there mounted in the lid of the box there and i did turn on the uh, inverter for a little bit and let it run uh let it go down to like 13.4 volts and then went ahead and switched it back over to the solar panel and you see it just come up a little bit there uh, back up to 13.7 so everything is good it's all charging and everything and i'm gonna leave it just like that while i uh, get the lights put up in the saloon there and um, this part's all good um, one of the things about the inverter i've got in there is it's not a pure sine wave inverter it is uh, just an inverter uh, converts dc to ac and i did a live stream out here about a year ago with santee and the only thing, I did it at night, so I had to have lights out here, but uh, I brought my laptop out here and I could not plug it into there because some electronics will not work properly with a inverter that is not a pure sine wave. So it's strictly gonna be used for lights out here. 
If I do another live stream out here, I'll just have to run my laptop off of its own battery, which lasts for quite a while anyways, longer than I want to do a live stream for anyways. But I'm going to go ahead and get these lights put up there. And I'm not going to put, I, I really wanted to put some outlets up in there so I could keep the cords up and out of the way and everything. But I'm just going to run an extension cord over to it, plug both lights into it, run it to my outlet down there at the bottom and power both the lights there. And that should be sufficient. Like I said, this is a temporary setup. I guess semi-permanent, you could say, for maybe the next year or two years, because like I said, I got another project coming up that's going to be a lot better than this. Okay, I've got the two lights on right now. Let's see if I turn them off. Maybe if I can figure this remote out. All right, there's one of them's off. There's the other one off. I don't know that you can tell much of a difference right now, but um, if I get them come back on again. There's that one. There's that one. Maybe not so much. It's still, they're not as bright as the sun, so uh, that's, that's a problem there. But I can change the color of them a little bit, get a little bit of a reddish color, maybe a purplish color. Um, we can go green, maybe. Yeah, you can hold them down and change it. It'll probably be a little more uh, evident when when it's uh, darker inside here, but hopefully that will give me what I need there. And then of course we can just do the bright white, um, kind of a, it's almost more of a natural light than it is. I know that looking up at them is blinding, so I don't want to do that. They are dimmable too, so they've got several different brightness levels on them. Um, three different brightness levels on I'll turn the camera on here so you can see them. Okay, now that looks terrible with the cords hanging down there, but I mean, like I said, it's, it's what I gotta do. There's a little dim there, dim there, a little bit dimmer, a little bit dimmer, and we can go ahead and brighten them all the way up. And we can change the colors on them. Let's see, there's a red. There's a red. Um, we can do, let's see, let's do this one kind of a yellowish color, I guess. And then we can do this one a blue, purplish color. They, You can do a gradual change on them. You can, if you want to do the party light thing, you can do that too, where they're going to change all the time. So, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with them, but my intention was just to have the bright white lights in here and get good lighting for when I'm doing some filming. And it will help, especially on those days when it's uh, really dull outside and inside here, it's even darker. So this will really help with kind of a good fill light in there. All right, guys, there it is. That is the uh, solar system upgrade to the saloon. Uh, now I've got my 240 watt lights up there and uh, the battery is currently charging. I don't need to use them right now anyways. It's pretty bright outside. Hopefully this will kind of help even some things out. Maybe not when it's as bright as it is out today because even those lights, it's hard to compete with Mother Nature. She's uh, got the old sun going and uh, it's hard to outshine it anyways especially with the system I got set up here, and they really don't need much more than that. Anyways, I got the bar cleaned up a little bit, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get out here and do some shooting and do another video, but that was the upgrade to my solar system here at the saloon. If you could, reach up here and hit this button to check out some of my other videos. Hit this button down here to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hope to see you on some of the shooting videos pretty soon.